Have you ever wondered how to install Windows 10 on HP G56 if your old system just stopped working? I've got my HP 56 over here and unfortunately system wise it's no more. So at the moment it's just switching on and it doesn't even want to boot. So if you've got that message on your screen, I've got a solution for you. So what we want to do now, we want to get the Windows installation media which goes to your optical drive and what you want to do now is to press any key so it will boot from a DVD drive here we go and now it's already loading from uh, optical drive the installation setup of Windows 10 and as you can see right now on the screen we've got Windows setup main page where we can choose the language of installation we want so I've got here United Kingdom so let's click on next and now let's click on install now just bear in mind the method I'm showing over here is when you want to completely wipe out your hard drive and install it from the scratch it's not uh, any way of restoring what you had over there as otherwise if you want to restore your laptop you have to click on repair and then windows is going with some automatic repairs so now we've got a software license let's click on accept the license terms and let's click on next now custom install windows only and here is our hard drive so on this hard drive there is nothing there it's completely wiped out so if there will be any partitions there that you would like to remove you have to highlight them and click on delete and that will delete the partition however on my hard drive it's completely empty it's the only allocated space there are no partitions there so I'll just click on next And now Windows is in starting installing files. So it's copying everything from the optical drive over there to your hard drive inside your laptop and it's installing the system. So once that process will finish, you'll have your system already on your computer. Alright, we're back here. That's our whole person now. The all the features of Windows that are getting installed. Some updates and then as soon as we'll get it will be finished. Here's a quick rest tab now. Here we go. Now we are not doing anything, we are not touching the keyboard, it should all start already from the hard drive. And here we go, that's our windows already loading up from the hard drive. Windows logo now. Getting devices ready. Alright, another restart, after a long wait, because it was kind of like, it was looking like it's stuck, but I think it was doing something, it was just showing getting ready for a, for a long while, and now it has restarted itself, so we got Windows logo back again, and the installation process continues. Great, so now we've got this connected screen, <clears throat> so let's select our Wi-Fi, so here's my Wi-Fi, 
now I can connect to it so I'll just type a password so it's now connecting to my Wi-Fi we are going fast, let's use express settings Right, now it's asking us if we have Office 365 license or we just don't want to use Office 365 and we, it will create us the local Azure directory domain. So I'll just use the local version. Let's click on next. Account for this PC. So that's my HP laptop. So I'll call it HP because why not? Um, Let's click on next. Another just a moment, the world is spinning. Here we have Cortana. We can use Cortana and communicate with the laptop by voice. I'll choose not to do that. I'll click on use Cortana because I like it. Now there is a short introduction from Windows. It's welcoming us. Some are waiting to get everything installed. That was interesting sound. Hey, let's start. That's interesting. I wasn't expecting to see that message. Right, so here we are. That's our Windows installed. Um, we now have Windows 10 on it. It runs on my HP G56 uh, with 2 gigabytes of RAM and Celeron CPU. I think that's probably the, the, one of the lowest configurations you can have a Windows 10 on. Uh, what's good about this laptop is that you can actually have 4 gigabytes of memory in it. So um, it will work better than it is at the moment. Um, so what will happen next? is that Windows will find a graphics display driver so all stuff will get installed uh, everything on the screen will get sharper and here we go that's my HP G56 it wasn't working at all uh, it had a message that there is no system found and now it's running Windows 10 installation so here's the process how to do it thank you very much for watching I'm currently searching for the new subscribers because my videos are getting a lot of hits but at the same time not many people are subscribing so if you would like to help me to get to, to my goal of a thousand subscribers please subscribe to my channel so thank you very much for watching and have a nice day bye